Hi everybody, Alex the Blogger here from Expert Forex and in this video I'm going to show you how to import trading information from FX Blue into an Excel spreadsheet and then how to manipulate that information. So as an example I'm going to use our Grid Trader series settings and I'm going to go down on the settings page, I'll, I'll, I'll include a link to this page in the description and first commentary and here's an example of a portfolio that consists of live accounts which I have and I have created this Excel spreadsheet from the portfolio in FX Blue and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to click on there and it takes you to the portfolio. The portfolio is making a nice profit. It's got a floating a loss at the moment but that's not important what we're looking at today is we're going to say what if we want to import the major trading information about this portfolio so what you do is you actually go to this button here portfolio click on that and it opens a list of all the accounts that are being traded in this portfolio the balance of the account the equity the floating profit and loss and then it has a floating profit percentage and how much free margin there is and it also tells me how up to date the linking of this information is so this is what i want to import into excel so what i do now is i make a note of the actual link the pay uh, the web page that this information is on and I then open an Excel spreadsheet this is a brand new Excel spreadsheet so what I then do is I click on data get data from the web it then asks for the URL and that's the one that I just copied now and I say okay then it opens this page it says what aspect do you want to import I'm going to just go for this portfolio and there, there is the portfolio that I want to import uh, exactly as we've seen it on the web page. And we say um, that's the web view. Here's the page. And we're going to just click on load. And then it goes away and it starts importing that information. And there we are. Exactly the information that we had on this page has now been imported into Excel and we I can now manipulate all of this information and put it into a handy format that I can use to display and analyze the results of this particular portfolio but there it is that's how you import information FX Blue to Excel okay and then at this point this is this is the current state of affairs if you let's say um, uh, next week on tuesday you want to update this information all you go do is you go to data and you say refresh all and it will go away and it will say you see running background query and it will update the information obviously the information won't change now this is a weekend so nothing's changed and that's how you update your information now that's nice because if you update your information you can put excel formulas to go and put update the information in your analysis schedules which i'm going to show you pretty soon you'll see a 9074 so exactly the same information on that sheet and what I then do, you can see this is on a sheet that I've given a name. And then what I do is I feed these values into another into an analysis spreadsheet which I have on another page. So here's the page that I have it on. It's actually the one that's on that particular uh, web page that I've seen shown you earlier. And what happens is all I need is are the equity numbers the balance numbers and the drawdown numbers that I add to this particular spreadsheet and do further analysis. This spreadsheet also gives all the settings that I use. So if we look at this particular one, now I'm not going to go into uh, lookup tables. I think that's quite complicated. But what I do is I basically ask, uh, uh, I actually put a formula in that says, right, for this particular one, which is the EM1, go and look up what the equity is 
go and look up what the drawdown is and that's all I really need to do this analysis that I've done. Then I total up all the equities, I, I total up all the drawdowns and I can get a, a feel of what the drawdown levels are and what the weekly, I then do a, a more analysis showing the weekly returns and that type of thing. But the objective of this video was to show you how to get to this point where you now have your raw information that you can use for further analysis. You can do this for an individual account or for a portfolio as I've shown you now. Once you've done this, you don't need to ever refer to FX Blue again. All you do is you click on data, refresh, and this will automatically refresh from then on. And obviously you save the Excel spreadsheet using a name that will be meaningful to you. Now, I hope you found this interesting and from me, Alex Aploy, cheerio.